There are so many building projects happening in Northwest Arkansas. Today we're covering five, five, <laughs> five of the lesser known building projects happening that are gonna make a huge impact on the area. So let's talk about that. Hey everybody, if you don't know who I am, my name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in Northwest Arkansas. If you weren't aware, I actually reload to Northwest Arkansas back in 2020. I looked all across America to find the best place to live in America. Asheville, Boulder, Golden, Boise, Salt Lake City, Huntsville, Chattanooga, all the places that are up there. And I chose Northwest Arkansas because by far it is the best place to live in America. By far. It's one of the only places you can truly live, work, and play all in NWA. So without further ado, let's jump right into the content. All right, and the first lesser known project that's gonna be a huge impact in the area is actually Big Emma in downtown Springdale. Now the reason it's called Big Emma is because it's on Emma Street in downtown Springdale. Color me shocked, I know. But regardless, Big Emma is being developed and just actually started construction uh, a couple weeks ago. So the reason that it's gonna be a big deal, first of all, it's a huge multi-million, I think it's a multi-million dollar project being developed in downtown Springdale. A lot of money is being poured in downtown Springdale as we speak. And in the next two to three years, downtown Springdale is going to radically change what it looks like. There's that little, little first pin, little star over there, a little asterisk. The second part is the fact that this is actually the actual North of Arkansas Council's attempt I don't want to say attempt, we'll call it starting spot of affordable, trying to work on affordable housing in Northwest Arkansas. So this is actually funded and used and developed and designed by the Northwest Arkansas Council. A lot of the actual spots, apartments, and housing is going to be designated for people that, that earn less than the actual income of Northwest Arkansas. So this is an attempt in, by the Northwest Arkansas Council to learn how to build affordable housing in the area and what are people looking for. On top of that is going to be obviously, I think 77 units total in the area, so it's gonna be quite large. But regardless, it's going to be a big project to be an example of what can be done and, and, and useful in the area. I'm sure the Northwest Arkansas Council is going to do more of something like this. This is the first big project. They are also doing the 3D printed homes in downtown Rogers, so that's gonna be another big project as well. But regardless, they're starting to put their their foot out the door, their foot in the mix, their hands in the kitchen, so to speak, of starting to learn and leverage and create a more affordable housing in Northwest Arkansas. Now, just to clarify, housing is affordable in Northwest Arkansas, but when it comes to where it was before and where it is now, it's still way under way under the national average, but we wanna make sure that, they, that we get ahead of the curve before it actually becomes a problem in five to 10 years. And the second lesser known project that's gonna make a huge impact in Northwest Arkansas is actually the 160 acre bike park being developed over in East Bentonville on the other side of 49. The Waltons have announced a couple months ago that they're building another like 160 acre park in for Bentonville. Now this is gonna be, the reason that this is gonna be a big deal is because like it's gonna be very similar to Kohler. It's very similar to the whole slaughter pin system up around Crystal Bridges. It's going to be another huge section of bike parks developed and ready for Bentonville. This is only not only going to like Bentonville is well known as the mountain biking capital of the world that's been established for a long time now, but it's just going to put them even farther ahead. And so that's gonna be crazy. The things that they're planning on doing there, it's gonna have obviously a lot of food vendors and some commercial spots when it comes to food and coffee and just hangout spots. It's going to be a mountain biking paradise again over in the east side, uh, east side of Bentonville. So Regardless, it's going to, like they've done so many projects when it comes to mountain biking, just adding more to the mix is going to be fantastic because so many biking events are coming here. Bike vendors are coming here, like truly like specialized bikes, Fox, YT Industries. If you're in the biking scene, you understand what that means. So a lot of big vendors and big bike companies are moving here, putting establishing themselves here. So it just makes sense that they're going to triple, quadruple, five times down on biking in Bentonville. Before we jump on to the next point, I wanna let you know that I made something for you. I made something called three day itineraries. And it sounds exactly what it is, literally itineraries for the whole area. So maybe you're looking to move down here. Maybe you're looking to actually like kind of check out the area yourself. Maybe just come down here for vacation. Whatever it is, I made three day itineraries for you to download, whether you're a sightseer, whether you're into food, whether you're into sports, whether you're into adventure, whether you have kids, there's a three day itinerary link down below for you. So go ahead and download them and use them when you get down here. When you do get down here, it's like literally three days between city by city, area by area, thing by thing, day by day. So you can kind of have your whole trip planned all through the itineraries. 
Also, I also made something called Instant Home Updates. Sounds exactly what it is, literally Instant Home Updates. So I would definitely recommend stop using Realtor.com, Zillow, Redfin, the notifications for all those different apps way too slow you miss so many different properties when you're using those apps whether you're looking to buy or even rent whatever the case is that's why i made something called instant home updates so enter your information below bedrooms uh, bathrooms square footage where do you want to move to north arkansas enter all the information below and i'll make sure to miss a single notification when it comes for homes for sale or for rent all in north arkansas also every single friday i send an email out just kind of talking about all the cool things happening in north arkansas what is going on in downtown Benville? What is going on in Fayetteville? What new businesses are moving here? What new cool things are coming into the area? Whatever the case is, I send out an email every single Friday, just kind of keeping you updated with all the things happening here. Enter your name below, enter your email below. I'll make sure you get that email every single Friday. But sadly, side note, you will get a little fear of missing out, a little, uh, little FOMO, so to speak. But I promise you will be the most informed person eventually when you make it down to North Arkansas. And the third lesser known project that's going to make a huge impact in Northwest Arkansas is actually the downtown Bentonville Hotel. I don't think it's been established like what the name is gonna be yet, that's uh, to be determined, but the Waltons and Blue Crane, which is a like basically owned by the Waltons, are actually developing the hotel itself. Now the reason it's gonna be a big deal is because first off, whenever the Waltons get their hands on something, usually it's, not usually, it always is higher cut and higher class. But the second thing is that it usually sets the standard of what the future is gonna be for Bentonville and honestly, North of Arkansas in a lot of different ways. So this is a custom hotel. There's going to be multi layers there, of course, obviously it's gonna be very bike focused. But the interesting thing is that the whole bottom level is gonna be completely, de mostly dedicated to restaurants, coffee shops, shopping, and it's gonna be completely attached to the new brick promenade walkway in downtown Bentonville. So it's all gonna be reshaped redone and it's going to be a continue to be a very walkable centric marketplace and hangout spot for families communities and whatever the case is in downtown Benville between the Quilta Parks the Brick Promenade the new hotel all the restaurants all the shopping it's going to be a downtown paradise in North Arkansas and it's already become that a long time ago but it's just going to double down even more and the fourth lesser known project happening in North Arkansas that's going to be a massive deal is the actual microchip development and fabrication in Fayetteville. So this is actually attached to the university. The University of Arkansas is making its own fab for microchip production as well as microchip research. And I think the reason this is happening is because I'm sure they got a grant from uh, the government because they put out a bunch of grants for microchip uh, development and also fabrication. So I know there's some money in there, plus the university packaged up a lot of money as well. But this is a big deal because Obviously political stuff with Thailand and China and America and future and blah, 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 blah. Regardless, microchips need to be developed in America and why no better place than Arkansas? Because of obviously we have, with the university specifically, we have just a lot of people that come from out of America and also in America to teach and not teach, but actually learn all the different technology fields in North Arkansas whether it's Walmart related or Tyson related or JB Hunt related, regardless, a lot of talent comes here to learn and the idea is to find jobs. And so there's no better place to do that and actually in Northwest Arkansas and not with all the big companies that are local here. Anyways, regardless, the chip fabrication is the building that actually started being developed is the actual like building process is gonna happen. And so in 2026, I believe, it's going to be a full fab to develop microchips that can be used all across America. And actually the talent and patents stay in America versus uh, outside of America, which is a big deal. And the last lesser known but big project happening in North East Arkansas is all the XNA improvements. XNA is our uh, airport here. I would consider a mid mid-size airport. Uh, it's not small, but it's not big in any shape or form, but it is becoming much larger. They're redoing the whole front of it. They're actually pulling a, a potential hotel near XNA. They're adding so many more parking spots. There's more flights going out. It's, it's, it's the most busiest it's ever been ever. And that's because of people coming in, people going out from flying and driving, the whole thing. And so it is becoming a bigger deal in the area to have all the different flights from Vegas to Florida to New York to Texas to California to wherever the case is, Chicago. No one talks about Chicago. Chicago's the worst. The thing about it is that it is a becoming more of a world, not world, but America player when it comes to flights out of here. So we obviously have a lot of flights going in, not all the time, daily flights going to Dallas and, uh, and uh, New York and Florida and Chicago. Ugh 
and every other places. So it's becoming a bigger deal. So that's why they're double downing, double downing, double down on XNA with all the improvements, both visually and also structurally, meaning like the structure of like making sure more flights can go in and out of there. Eventually the goal is to lure Southwest Airlines here. I'm sure that's on the up and coming here very shortly. Once they get done with these big improvements to the front and just infrastructure in general, then they're gonna move on to a larger runway, which will eventually allow uh, Southwest to actually be able to fly in, in and out of XNA all the time. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Again, if you haven't been down to North East Arkansas quite yet, I made something called the NWA Starter Pack. Sounds like what it is, literally a starter pack full of all the cool things north of Arkansas. It's a full 72 page guide, actually talking about the whole area, schools, hospitals, everything you need to know about north of Arkansas, packaged in one big guide. Also my itineraries, we have uh, actual stickers in there. Your all the cool things about north of Arkansas, packaged, ship right to your home, like a little package, ship right to your home, literally right to your home. Enter your information below and make sure you get that package shipped right to your home right away. Also, side note, it does come with your first free mountain bike, so that's pretty cool. And, 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 and I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. Isn't my favorite four letter F word? Free! So enter your information below, I'll make sure they get the package shipped to you right away. Also, when you do come down here, I can give you the $10 tour so I can kind of show you around the whole area. Plus, we can check out some home for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar will go in North Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. All right, guys, I'll see you next one.